Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm gonna get straight into today's video because I've got something very, very special for you. So if you've seen some of my, my previous videos, you'll know I'm quite a big um, advocate of ShotScope. So I do love a ShotScope product. I think they are quite um, advanced in game changing. Uh, the te te technology in them is brilliant, absolutely amazing. Um, and there's a lot you can do with it, but it's also actually available for a different level of golfer as well, depending on if you want uh, a more statistical analysis, analysis of the game, or if you just want purely GPS to tell you where you need to be hitting, you know, how, how far you're hitting the ball. So, I'll put the video up here to my X5 review, which is a, a, an upgrade to the V3. So this is the, uh, the, the X5, just to show you. See, it's a lot more modern than the V3. The V3 was quite a square. Uh, watch and this is quite modern with the uh, with the round face and it looks a lot nicer as well so the v3 and the g3 the g3 is purely a gps version and it, they look exactly the same so i'll put a picture here as well of the of the g3 so it's basically it's your strap and your, your square watch and it tells you your gps distances so what have they done now they've now brought out as of today which is the 12th of july um a g5 so the G5, what is different about the G5? Well, it's a lot more modern. It's a nice round uh, round face like the, the X5. Um, and there's actually a few more features on it as well, not just the GPS um, front, middle and back. So let's have a look at it um, and see where we're at. Inside the box, you've got your charger. You've got a little quick start guide, which tells you about the uh, the watch and charging it and downloading the uh, the shot scope app and here is your watch now I know what you're thinking it's got no strap with it this is where it gets a little bit interesting so you say you can order a, a black or a grey um, watch unit we peel that off oh, I do love something satisfying about that peeling that off and lovely and shiny uh, but now what you've also got is you've got a choice of straps so when you actually place your order for this, so $149.99, which is a similar sort of price to the V3, sorry, the G3, um, you get to choose two straps. Now, you can choose between, let me just have a look, I don't want to tell you wrong. You can choose between Army Green, Black, Sky Blue, Burgundy, Mint Green, Carbon Grey, Steel Grey, Navy, Orange, Pink, Racing Red and White. So again, I'll put a little picture somewhere on the screen here of all your little colours. So once you've selected your um, your watch, you can then choose your straps. Now I've gone for a mint green and an orange one. So I think for purposes of this, let's put the orange. Let's go nice and bright, shall we? So it comes in a little box like this. There's your strap, just to show you the, uh, the mint green one as well. There you go. So it depends, you know, you can get a, a, a variance of, of straps depending on your outfit. Um, you know, it's nice to actually mix it up a bit now. You haven't got to go to the standard white or, or black all the time. You can kind of like, you say, mix it up to, to your style of the day, shall we say. So, I'm just looking at my watch to see which way around to put these, uh, these straps on. So, let's have a look. Turn it over. So this is going on top. So if you look at the fact, I'll just look at the strap first. So you've got, if you can see that, a little little slider. So you sort of slide it one way to, to get that pin away, and then you'll slide it back over to lock it in place. And if you can see, and if it'll show you close up, there's like a little um, a little bit in there which you'll then lock lock that in so it doesn't. Uh, doesn't move so let's give it a go shall we so um put that into that side hold that down i mean it'd be a lot easier if you didn't have nails like i've got i'm not gonna lie um into there pull i keep put it's me i keep pulling it across into there pull it down and then it pops into place and then you'll just slide that into that little thing there to lock it there you go. So we'll do the same on the bottom. Now, it's one difference straight away because the X5 is um, a moulded strap. This is a lot freer. 
which I think might make it, it may make it more comfortable. I don't know. Let's put it on. Let's try it out, shall we? Right. Put this on. What I'm going to do like as well, you've still got your two, um, your two strap things on it. So there you go. Put it into one, put it into the other. And there you go. Well, that was quite funky, that, wasn't it? So, for the purposes of um, showing you the actual watch itself, I will take it off. It's going to be easy to manage. Right, so... Turn it on. You press the select button. And there you go. Shot scope G5. So connect to the app for the course uses. Now before I do connect it to my app, I will just let you know um, what it has actually got different to um, to the old one. So it is preloaded with I think 36,000 courses, but of course you'll need to uh, connect it to your um, to the app. And that will just give the the um, courses any updates that it may be, be needing. Obviously, if you go to a course and um, there's a bunker which isn't shown on the watch, let ShotScope know. They will add the bunker to the course information and then it will release an update. So they're always updating the courses as and when information gets updated on the you know by users or by the clubs. So it's well, well worth knowing that every now and again when you go do, do actually go to play around a golf, check on your, your app to see if the course needs an update just in case it hasn't got something that sort of that's now been um, added to the course or whatever. So this is quite lightweight, it's 42 grams in weight, it gives you your front, middle and back distances. It also has the hazards dog legs and layups which the, the old one didn't have. So the, v, sorry, the G3 did not have the, uh, the hazards. So it had the hazards, but it didn't have the dog legs and layups. Now it's got the dog legs and the layups, which again is similar to the G5, to the X5. Um, so it's got the three the three different straps. It's got a digital scorecard. So each time when you hole out, you can just add your score onto your watch, and then at the end of the round, it'll tell you your your, uh, your shots you've taken. Um, it's got last shot trackers, which. Until I actually get on the course, I won't know what that means. So I'm going to get it out on the course and have a go with this and shortly. Um, it's got a large digit display, which we'll see in a minute. And it's got a two-year warranty. So I think all in all, I think it looks like a nice GPS watch. i say it's certainly a lot prettier than the, uh, than the Square Face G3. And i say, if you're a person that just wants purely a GPS watch... Uh, but it's actually got quite a lot of information you can use on it. It's definitely worth considering. And I think £149, it's on price point with um, most other GPS watches, but I think you are getting more for your money with, with the shot scope. So let's just have a look. If I go to... Um, just so we see how many apps I've got on my phone. It's ridiculous, I know. So if I go to shot scope... Let's make sure this one isn't turned on. Oh, it is turned on. Let me just turn this one off. It's one thing to note, if you do have more than one shot scope, or if there's two of you in the house that have um, a shot scope, make sure that only one's on at a time to actually connect the device. So that one's now off. So if I go to connect device, it should ask me um, if it wants to connect this new new watch right so it's asking me for the bluetooth pairing and there's the numbers on there four nine three five four nine don't you try and put this code in at home because it will just it will, will generate a new code each time you connect so it's asking me which one i am uh, connecting and it's the g5 gps the firmware is up to date, so you shouldn't need to update your watch when you first get it because it's obviously it's brand new, so there shouldn't be any firmware updates. But again, do um, do check from time to time. Do make sure you connect it from time to time to make sure that you're getting any updates that you need. Um, I want it in yards. Um, if you want the tutorial, you can do that, and it just tells you about the mapping. 
if it's not mapped, request it and it'll be mapped within five uh, working days, which is good. So go to your courses. So this is showing that all these courses are actually on the on the watch. But if you see there, it's showing update available. So I'm going to update um, Crook Hill Park. So if I go to Ready to Sink, and if I find Crook Hill Park here, there, I'm going to sync that now to update um, the watch because I'm going to be, I'm going to be playing um, Crook Hill Park later. So once this is updated, um, it'll be ready for me to actually get out of the course and start using. But we'll just have a little bit of a play with it and see what all these buttons. So you've got back, select, up and down. Now the difference with this and the X5 um, as well, the X5 has got like roller die, uh, roller selectors. These are buttons. Now, I do like the, the X5 with the roller, bu roller um, buttons on the side. These things here, you sort of sw swivel them around and then you can click them as well to select. But I do think there's something a lot easier about having just a click button. Right, so we are now updated. And you can see it's got the time on there and the date, Sunday the 9th of July. So if you go to select top corner, you've got play golf. Um, and then you go to the other side and you go up to shut down, up to settings, up to play golf. So there's your three options. Um, play, you can have a look in settings, see what settings is all about. So this is where you can change your clock face. Confirm your scores, button lock, check your battery level, unit, change your units from uh, yards to meters if you want. So that's what it looks like with front, middle and back layout. Or you can change it to bigger and change it to bigger still. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have it as that. So it shows me the middle back and the front. Selection confirmed. So if we go back, firmware is up to date so I know that. You can put demo mode so you can have a, um, this kind of shows you what it looks like. So you've got your front, middle, back and then you've got, that's hole 18. Uh, it's a par 4, it says there, I don't know if you can see that, it's got plus 3. So this is telling me that um, on hole 18 it's par 4 and I am currently plus 3 over. So it's got your little scorecard in the bottom corner so it kind of tells you where you are in your game which is quite good. If we go back, you can confirm your scorecard which I'll do obviously when I play the game. So I've got the clock face so you can change a different clock. You can have a standard clock layout like a, um, the hands or you can have that or you can have that. I think I'm going to keep it simple, I quite like that one. So we go back again button lock so the button lock is on I think I'm going to enable the button lock for for golf purely because sometimes with my glove it'll click these buttons right so you can actually enable the, the button lock um, that's just a tip from me from from all GPS watches if you've got if you're wearing a, a glove so if when you like when you're um, bending your wrist and you're, you're setting your wrist to take your shot um, sometimes it can click these buttons so it's worthwhile having the uh, the button lock on on that uh, let's keep going back and there we go battery level it's 100 percent battery which is fine so that's the uh, the, the the settings menu um, obviously when I get on the course I'll be able to click play golf you select that and you locate your GPS but because I'm not on the golf course um, it can't locate the GPS as yet so uh, we'll take this out of the course give it a spin and see what we think so there's no courses within one kilometre which is at least another GPS is working and the satellites are working which is fine um, but yeah, I just want to shut it down up click shut down yes and there we go there is the um, Shotscope G5 GPS watch. See you on the course. Right, I'm now at the course. So I'm going to click select, play golf, and it's locating GPS. Right, it's now found at Crook Hill Park Golf Club where I am. 
I click select, loading the course. I am going to go for the, the um, yellows, but if I wanted to change, I could click down to white or reds. But I'm going to play for yellows. So I click select. Scoring, yes, I'm going to score on my watch. And there we go. Ready to go. Right, so I am just there, 160 yards from the centre of the green. You can see that. 162 to the middle, 145 to the front, and 176 to the back. Right, so you click it once to unlock it, and then you click it for your uh, hazards. So if you click select, you can go to change hole, uh, your flash shot, your scorecard, and end round in new round time. The front, middle, back layout, which we've already got there anyway. So I know 163 yards to the middle, 147 to the front. I'm going to take my five wood. So let's see. I can execute this. Well, it's probably got the right distance. I didn't quite execute the shot very well, but I'm, I'm actually down there for three and it's par five, so I'm still happy with that. I got a six, it shows it's a five, pick up the six, and click select, score recorded, and then one to the next hole. If I want to check uh, my scorecard, I will just do that. Click my scorecard, it tells you there, complete one over. If you notice, it also says it's uh, just there. Hold two is a par four and I'm currently one over. 313 yards to the middle of the green. We have got a dog leg on here though, so I'm just going to have a look. It's telling me there's 208, 274 yards to a bunker, which is down on the right, uh, left hand side. Dog leg is 200 yards. But then you've also got your layups. It tells you 150 and 200, and then if I go up, it tells you 100. On there, there's a little exclamation mark where I've forgotten to put the score in on the last hole. So you click select, go to your scorecard, and you can see there there's the exclamation mark telling me in hole three I've not put the score in. So you select it, we've got a four, so change that to a four, click select, and it's confirmed. And now to then one over for that hole. Go back to your scorecard, that's to your main page, it says there, plus five, and plus five for my round so far. Just do two. So if I want to lay up, some perfect distance. At the minute I'm, I'm on the tee box and I've got 349 yards to the middle of the green. If I want to lay up, for example, for example to a 200 yard shot, so I know for example my three wood is a perfect 200 yard shot, I need to be hitting the ball off the tee 155 yards. Uh, or if I want to lay up to 150 yards, I need to be hitting my drive 211 yards.
So, what do I think of the G5 watch? I think it's a great piece of kit. I think it's great value for money, £149. It's, you know, it, it's about the right sort of price point for a GPS watch, but I think you're getting so much more with it because there's a lot more features available on it. Um, now, Neil has already said to me that if he'd have seen this before the X5, he'd have probably just bought this. Is that right? Yes. And, and why do you think you would have bought this instead? Because you're not really a... Um, I don't, I don't look at all the data that I can get. With. You're not a stats boffing, are you? No, like so with, with, the, with the one that I've got, I, I just tend to do, use GPS, not GPS and track. Okay. So would you, would you pay £149 for it? Yeah. And do you think it's quite good that it's got the interchangeable straps as well? Yeah, just, that, not, that. not just a boring black and white strap? It's not that, it's just mm -hmm. you've got spare straps as well, haven't you? Well, you have got spare straps as well, yeah, because it, it comes with the two straps. Uh, but no, it, it is a great piece of kit, it's definitely worth a look. So I will put a web link here, I will also put it in the description below as well. So go and have a look at it, see what you think, and treat yourself, because you know, why not? So now let me, let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe on the video and uh, share amongst your friends. Sharing, scaring and all that and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, see you soon.